So good things really do come to those who wait. Congratulations to the Patel family. They ordered this uh, 2023 Sienna Platinum Edition all-wheel drive, and here it is. It showed up today, and they'll be uh, coming to pick it up later. But before they do that, I wanna give you guys a full overview on the Platinum Edition for 2023. Let's get started right up front. Top of the line, Platinum Edition Sienna for 2023, and this is the uh, Silver Sky Metallic. Beautiful color, all-wheel drive, Platinum Edition and this thing is loaded. So let's start with the headlights. Probably one of the most complex headlights that Toyota offers right now in their vehicle. So it's a full complement of LED daytime running lights, high beams, low beams, turn signals, all built into these really cool, sleek, low profile headlight system up front. The grille, it's surrounded by a satin silver finish, runs right into the gloss black trim, and there we see the hybrid badge for Toyota with the blue halo on there. These are all hybrids now for 2023, and they achieve up to 35 miles per gallon combined city highway fuel economy. Amazing fuel economy out of a vehicle of this size and quality. So take a look at the grill. It's a gunmetal, metallic gunmetal painted grill here. Here's your parking sister assistance and your pre-collision forward-facing camera for the 360 view. We'll take a look at that when we get inside. Down low, LED fog lights, more of the satin silver trim that we saw up here on top of the grill, following down on the bottom, and then a lower Valance to give it a low profile and a really slick look up front. I love the front end on the Sienna Platinum Edition. Comes with everything, it's an amazing vehicle. So up here behind the windshield, there's some sensors up there, and this has dynamic radar cruise control, pre-collision, pedestrian detection, lane tracing assist, road sign identification as well. Let me know in the comments if you like the look and feel of this one. This is really, really cool. So check out the wheels. These are a chrome uh, wheel cover on a steel wheel, so it's a very durable, lightweight. If you curb these, pop them off, put a new one on. Lug nuts are chrome as well. Very nice quality tire. So this is a Bridgestone tire. Really smooth ride on there. It's a 235, 60 series, and that's an 18-inch wheel and tire on there. Independent front suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, traction control. Now, as I mentioned, this is the all-wheel drive edition. Primarily, it runs in a front-wheel drive, but then the rear-wheel drives kick in with those electric motors to give you that added traction when needed. You don't need to do anything. The computers do all that for you. Outside mirrors painted color to match LED turn signals. These are collapsible mirrors, but they're also power folding mirrors. And then they also have, slide around to the side here, blind spot monitoring. They're also heated, and of course, they're power mirrors. And then down underneath, more technology there's a camera for the 360 view and this is a puddle light so at night when you hit your keyless remote it actually lights up on the ground with the sienna uh, logo on the ground so a really cool feature you'll have to stop by and see one at night it's gonna be hard to find this one on any dealer's lot that hasn't been pre-sold so the uh, platinum edition does have chrome accents on the door handles chrome accents all the way around here and then Sienna's also have kick sensors for the rear doors, which includes your uh, side sliding doors and also the uh, rear lift gate. So it opens up nice and wide. Just have to have your keys on you and you cannot have the uh, vehicle uh, running for that to, to operate. So you just kick underneath and away it goes. Privacy glass on all of your back windows. Up top, we do have the roof rail or luggage rack system, satin silver finish, and a power sliding moonroof is going to be standard on your Platinum Edition. I love the body lines on this. Real long wheelbase, so it's probably one of the smoothest rides of any of the Toyotas out on the road. By the, one, by the way, this one a list for $56,000 even. You can see more chrome up and over the rear windows. The, these rear windows do, or I'm sorry, these rear windows do roll down, as well as, of course, the front door windows. 
Take a look at the rear tail light assembly. Really kind of a cool look. Kind of wrap around like a teardrop effect on the sides there. Gloss black bezels all the way around, so a nice finishing touch. Uh, vortex generators here to help reduce wind noise and uh, increase fuel economy just a little bit. Up top, we've got a color to match shark fin antenna, color to match spoiler. We've got a matte black finish here on your C pillar. Privacy glass on the back, rear window defrost. LED third brake lights right inside here. So when you wash the window off, you don't have to worry about cleaning off that lens because it'll wash off all together. There's also an additional camera under there for the rear facing camera. Washer wiper, of course the hybrid badge, chrome uh, sienna, chrome platinum and hybrid badge there. And then as I mentioned, this is the all wheel drive. The rear bumper, gloss black, uh, painted gloss black these are reflectors and these are your parking assist sensors here as well and then more of that silver satin trim that we saw on the front grille so really tying it all together give it a nice sophisticated refined look all, all all the way around sorry about that take a look at those body lines the way it swoops up from the rocker panels and then up over the rear shoulders of the wheels pretty cool design let's go ahead and pop the hood so Sienna for 23 is a hybrid, only available as the hybrid. And so you've got the 2.5 liter, four cylinder, 16 valve gasoline engine with a VVTi fuel injection. And then it's connected to an electronic continuously variable uh, transmission. The uh, engine and the transmission, they have a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, no deductible. And then over on this side, We've got our electronic components for our hybrid system and those orange cables are part of the electrical for that. So there's two warranties on the hybrid system. The first is the mechanical warranty and that covers any of the mechanics of the hybrid system. That's eight years, 100,000 miles. And then the battery warranty goes for 10 years, 150,000 miles. And there's no deductible on that. Now I mentioned this is an all wheel drive, so primarily it's going to be in front wheel drive mode, which most cars are on the road today, but there's electric motors in the back wheels. And so when, you, when it detects slippage, it'll connect those rear electric motors and give you the all wheel drive capabilities. All Toyotas do come with Toyota Care, so that covers your basic maintenance. So your oil changes, your fluid top-offs, and your uh, tire rotations. Toyota covers that for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. And then the vehicle itself has a three-year, 36,000-mile limited warranty. So a really great warranty package on it as well. Let's go ahead and dive inside and check out the interior. Before we jump in the driver's seat, I wanted to just take a minute here to take a look at the passenger side. So the Platinum does come standard with a power passenger seat. These are uh, leather seats, perforated, heated, ventilated, all the goodies on these seats here throughout the cabin. And uh, the color on this one is kind of a chalk, uh, chocolate color. And then we've got a nice full-size glove box of course you get your owner's manuals it does have a lock here as well so you can secure items in there and then there's a little bit of a package shelf here uh, one of the criticisms if anything on this van would be the package shelf it's super slippery so if you put your cell phone here and then you take a corner it's going to go zinging across there and probably fly out on the driver's side or vice versa across the front of the vehicle there's four of these vents here passenger side airbags there's also curtain airbags there's also side impact airbags in the seats as well but a lot of room up front here for the front passenger and then there's a huge storage compartment down here as well with little uh, holders so stuff doesn't slide around and then there's also a 12 volt outlet down there as well so I just wanted to give you the perspective here from the passenger side let's go ahead and jump in on the driver side so here on the driver's door, a couple great features unique to the Platinum Edition. Number one, the upper door panel is kind of a cream color and then it bleeds down into the darker uh, chocolate leather padded armrest. We've got a uh, two position memory seat, which also works with your steering wheel as well as your outside mirrors. So that's a tilt, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. 
There's also satin silver door handles, satin silver trim here. We've got one touch up and down on all four windows. They're backlit switches, power door locks, power mirrors. And then there's a little switch right here. And that's for your outside mirrors. Those can be set up to fold in automatically. So you put it to the auto mode. When you put the vehicle in park, it automatically folds those mirrors in. So that can be really great for tight parking spaces, that type of thing. There's also some storage cubbies here, speaker here, bottle holders, and the doors as, doors as well. Driver's seat is a full power seat with four-way lumbar support. So same thing we saw on the passenger side, but the driver's actually has power lumbar support with the uh, side airbags built right in the seat as well. Over on the dashboard on the Platinum, they really use up all the spaces here for your switches because there's just so many features on this one. Odometer. Dimmer switch for your dash lights. Don't know if you can see me pointing at it. Um, there's your 360 camera switch. Heated steering wheel. 120 volt outlets on and off. So that's the on off switch for that. Automatic high beams. Traction control on and off. Gas door release. And the power door lock for the power sliding doors if you want to prevent the kids from using them. Hood release down here. And there's another little cubby right here to be able to drop your coin that is rubber coated so stuff won't slide around in that unlike the uh, pack package shelf on the passenger side uh, uh, they should have rubber inserts for all of it and that would eliminate that problem I mentioned also we've got a power tilt telescoping steering wheel here as well let's go ahead and grab a seat so here behind the uh, driver's seat I've got my camera almost touching my nose I just wanted to be able to give you that bird's eye view from the driver's seat there's a lot of technology a lot of buttons and switches switches up here and i, I want to show you the leg room for the driver as well so i've got the seat all the way back and i could not drive this vehicle because my legs aren't long enough so i think if you're six foot plus you're going to be very comfortable behind the wheel of a sienna so the steering wheel on this one is the heated steering wheel it's um power tilt telescoping it's leather wrapped driver's side airbag here behind the uh, logo on the right hand side we've got our cruise control settings so cruise control on and on on and off uh, dynamic radar cruise control sensors uh, lane tracing assist on and off and then you can control your sound system change the radio stations and modes from there and then over here um, information center controls bluetooth connectivity and voice activation for your smartphone and then we have the volume for the sound system there as well. Up here, we've got washer wiper controls for front and rear, and they have intermittent settings on both. And then over on this side is where we have our headlight controls, our daytime running lights, and then also our high beams, or our, I'm sorry, our fog lights. So we have, still have those automatic high beams and auto on and off for your headlights. And then they have the three click feature for your turn signal. So if you just tap it once, the uh it'll blink three times and automatically cancel itself out so that's really nice for making lane changes and those types of things let's go ahead and fire it up so you can see what the gauge cluster looks like so that we do have push button start by the way so i've got my foot on the brake gonna go ahead and just So this is a hybrid, and so what just happened is the system said we don't need the gas engine and it started up without the gas. Now the gas engine will turn on automatically by itself, depends on how much um, demand I put on it as I'm sitting here. So let's take a quick look at the gauge cluster, I'll move that seat ahead a little bit. On the left hand side that's where we have our, our sensor or our monitoring for our hybrid system, charge eco power, engine temperature gauge. And over on the right hand side is where we have our speedometer and our gas gauge so if i tap on the gas pedal it should start the engine up there it goes and then right here in the middle there's a large um, computer screen that has a digital speedometer a clock outside temperature and then there's a whole bunch of uh, information available if you just toggle through here so you've got your compass sounds uh, audio settings there's your energy monitoring system and all of your safety settings so there's a whole bunch of information you can control and it's done with your fingertips using these controls right here 
Take a look over at our center console and all the buttons and switches over here. There are a lot of them in the uh, Sienna Platinum. It's basically a loaded, loaded Sienna. So here's our center uh, sound system and it's kind of a tablet style system. It does not obstruct your view in any way, shape or form. It's a nice big system. We've got eight different switches and two different but, uh, dials on here. The newer systems that Toyota's coming out with gets rid of all these switches and leaves just one dial. And we'll probably see that next year on the Sienna. But it's a great sound system, a JBL audio system. Let me see if I can turn it on and kind of show you what, we, what it looks like. All right, so navigation is going to be uh, an upgraded uh, feature on here you can see it's a pretty clear easy to read screen if I throw this in reverse you'll see the backup camera comes on we've got different settings for that as well we've got uh, um, dynamic lane tracing as well so as we back up it automatically gives us that path projection so that's up there as well uh, this is your JBL audio system so there's a subwoofer in the rear there's extra uh, speakers up here in the dashboard. Really terrific system, standard on the Platinum. Uh, and you can see that's really a very clear system. We've got um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Also Cirrus Satellite Radio. You, you get three months of the Platinum subscription at no charge for the XM Satellite Radio. Moving down a little bit, we'll take a look at our heating and air conditioning system. So we've got heated seats on both sides. We've got ventilated seats on both front, front window defrost, rear window defrost. Here's your passenger heated and ventilated seats. Turn that off, drop this down, throw it in auto mode. Really easy to use. Uh, Toyota did get rid of the heating and air conditioning controls on the steering wheel. So the only way to control them now is using these switches down here. Uh, that package shelf that I showed you over on the passenger side continues over on the Platinum. There's wireless charging right here for your smartphone. So you just set it there and away you go. There's little not notches here to prevent it from sliding away. There's a 12 or a USB port here. So if you want to charge in a traditional format, you can plug it in right there. The uh, This entire center console has kind of a faux uh, wood finish to it leads all the way up into the package shelf as well ties in nicely with the with the uh, leather seats on here leather wrap uh, shift knob parking uh, brake parking brake hold ev mode and then your drive modes for eco normal and sport the switches are there there's a nice place here if you want to set your a small tablet or your smartphone but if you fold this back you pick up two more cup holders so a total of four cup holders and you can actually put your smartphone right here as well so three different ways to to put your smartphone up here this is a huge huge center console we talked earlier about how much room's down below there but then there's also additional space here underneath so these are your armrests for front driver front passenger they're stationary and then if you push the button this opens up to reveal a huge storage area down here and there's two uh, USB ports right there Let's see if I can they're backlit kind of a pale blue let me turn my light off here there you go so now you can see it so you get two more places to charge stuff takes you up to a four, total of what one two three four five different places to plug in up front or to charge up front so a lot of room uh, throughout the entire front cabinet here's another look at that passenger seat there's a passenger assist grip up there Platinum does come with the power sliding moonroof. Our visors have lighted uh, vanity mirrors. Can't get that open. And then they also slide like that. Now let's take a look overhead. There's a lot going on up here as well. Like I said before, this thing is loaded with features. So we've got overhead lighting, reading lights, tailgate uh, button to open up the tailgate power door get, uh, buttons for the back doors, moonroof controls or sunroof controls, light controls, safety connect. This is for the roadside assistance. And then this is kind of nice. There's a convex mirror up here, which is great for keeping your eyes on the kiddos in the back seat. And then finally, we've got an electronic re rear view mirror. 
with that kind of computer screen behind there. We also have uh, home link settings on here. This is a really cool, cool mirror. So you've got the traditional style mirror there. And then when you flip it up, it becomes a, like a screen, like a monitor. So you can see out the back. And that uses that extra camera on the tailgate that I pointed out earlier. So just a lot of features up here. I'm, I may have missed one or two, but um, this really is a nice, nice vehicle. The Patel family is going to enjoy this one. Let's, uh, let's jump in the back seat. So diving into the back seat, again, I wanted to show you we have those kick sensors. Just pass your foot under there and the door will open up. Pretty cool stuff. This passenger assist handle is nice. It's rubber coated on the backside, but you can see it goes down low so you can get adults or little ones are gonna have a place to grab a hold to get in. It's not slippery at all. Pockets on the backs of both front seats. And then the first row of seats here, they're on this uh, track system that slides back and forth and you can see how much leg room that provides. Also take a look, we've got ottomans that come out from these front seats. Kind of a footrest, folding armrest, super comfortable seats of course. Let me go ahead and jump inside here. Now down low on the center console we've got a couple USB charging ports up here. We've got a 120 volt outlet there an HDMI port, cup holders down here. And the reason we have the HDMI port is this one has the 11.6 inch high definition uh, system. That's really cool. It comes with two sets of headphones. It's an extra charge on here. It's an upgrade. Rear seat uh, heat for the second row, both of them. Automatic air conditioning. So this actually has three different climate zones, two up front and one in the rear. So the backseat passengers can make their own adjustments. There's lots of lighting back here as well. There's heating and air conditioning vents, passenger assist grips. So just a very comfortable uh, laid back. Let me put my ottoman out here. And you can put your legs up, kick back, and catch a movie. It's an amazing, amazing comfortable vehicle. You're, if you're buying this for your children, they're going to love it. They're going to be treated like the little princes and princesses they think they are. Cup holders down here on both seats. And I mentioned these armrests do fold down on both these seats. And they also recline back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, back seats. So it is a long way from the back seat to the front seats in these. Uh, but we've got an intercom system. So the front driver has a microphone just above their seat up there and so when that when they talk up, speak up you can actually hear it back here as well so the the seat the seat folds down i'll show you that when we go in the trunk but there's some features over here i wanted to point out cup holders usb ports headphones and then this little deal right here is this tiny little shade <laughs> kind of goes up and clips into place like that there's also speakers back here as well the headrest fold the seats recline there's three seat belts back here for the little ones it's a uh, super comfortable definitely easy to travel in as a family lots of room plenty of comfort and convenience fe features here some more headphones more cup holders i like this lighter uh, door trim with the darker on the bottom it kind of lightens it up and then the dark floor and the dark um, seat covers don't show the wear and tear nearly as much. These back these uh, seats also have child safety seat anchors there for the for the captain's chairs as well. And you can see how far that seat slides forward. So there's plenty of leg room back here, uh, and plenty of cargo room as well. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the trunk. So that is a power lift gate on there. I've got it open just to uh, make it easy for me to get in and out. But it does come up nice and high out of your way. If you're a six footer, you're going to have to watch your head. But um, it does get up and out of the way pretty nice. Here's that JBL subwoofer that's part of the JBL sound system. So they really wrap you in sound in this one. Take a look at some of the features back here. Here's your 120 volt inverter plug. You can put a cargo net in here. Jack and tool kit's gonna be behind this door here. Tremendous amount of cargo room back there. Super deep well. These go down quite easy. Just grab a handle here, pull it back like this, drop it in, and away you go. Takes about eight pounds of pressure, so even little kids can do it. Just pop it in, boom. Take a look at that. That's a lot of cargo room. Definitely could fit a uh, single air mattress for an overnighter back there. To bring them up, 
Same, just do the exact opposite. Pull this up, let it fall in place. Pull this up, let it fall in place. Then just grab the little tether here. Number two, pull it back, let go, away you go. Same thing on this side. Grab the tether, pull it back, let go, locks into place. Headrest can be readjusted, just like so. You can see they do recline all the way back, so you can readjust those. There's also little hooks here for your uh, plastic grocery bags to stand up, and then there's a storage compartment over here. So a lot of cargo room back here, a lot of uh, passenger capacity as well. And then we can close the tailgate either by a kick, a remote, or the button. So there you go, that's your 2023 Toyota Sienna Platinum Edition. This one is sold. If you want one, you can get one. You'll just have to order it and be patient. It will come in. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the video, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Feel free to like and share this video as well. And then feel free to stop by Smart Toyota in Madison and order one for yourself. Thanks for watching.